Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon card video. Now, if you guys haven't already, I did do an opening for the Maylong weekend, which just passed, which was uh, Japanese Pokemon cards, which would be my first time ever opening up Japanese Pokemon cards, which I think went over really, really well. But today we are doing something that I haven't done in a little bit. We are opening up, yes, you've got it, more Value Village Pokemon cards. I have five packs here. Most of them um, are either have a hollow or a promo in the front or are older cards or just like this one, extra special. Um, I really, really enjoy opening these and I know you guys too, too. I still have a huge stash in my Pokemon card collection of these guys, so I need to get opening these things. Um, I do still keep my eyes open at the local value village by my place. Haven't found any more recently, but still fingers crossed that I do. And I'm thinking of actually starting doing um, thrift hunt blocks because I do find some pretty cool things sometimes at the thrift store. Like um, this guy here, I got him at the local thrift store. He was uh, broken. He's he's not attached to a stand. He's just kind of sitting in there right now. But all I need is some super glue, and he will be good. And same with that Solgaleo, too. I ended up getting him from the thrift store. So sometimes you can find some pretty cool things there, including Pokemon cards. But what we're going to do is start opening these up and seeing if we can pull anything amazing from these. So we do have this Audino, which has that really cool foil background. We have, oh, the cute Squirtle. Oh, I love that artwork. Super cool. We have an Oshawott. A Corsola with, oh, this will be one of those, yeah, World Championship cards because it has that uh, silver outline. So that's kind of cool. Don't really have any of those. I think that's my first uh, championship card. Not that they're worth anything, but still pretty neat. Uh, we have an Ammonite, a Woofer, and a Finneon. And from the looks of it, they have typed these nowadays. So that's kind of interesting. We have a Corpish, a Snowrent, a Wingle, Magikarp, hashtag Magikarp Army, Carp Carp, a Buizel, Remoraid, another Wingle. We have another Magikarp, and I really, really enjoy this background here. Very, very pretty and stylized. I love the artwork on that. So, nothing huge in that first pack. We are going to go on to this P-Dev pack next. Um, and I'm hoping that we get some good pulls like we have in some of my last videos. If you haven't seen the last one where we open up even more... I think there was one I had open up recently that had more um, base set hollows in it, but uh, I will have a link up here in the top for you guys on that. So this one starts with the P-Dove with that same, uh, from that same, uh, this one here starts off with a P-Dove from that same set as the, Audin the Audino with that really, really nice background on it. Yep. And we're already starting the spinning. This one has a bag on, bag on, bag on, oh boy. And a Skitty Kitty, a Happiny, which has that, I don't know what that symbol is. If anybody could let me know in the comments below what this symbol means on them, I would love to find out. It is a baby, Happiny. So we have a Wismer, and more flips, Teddy Ursa, Stantler, a Darkness Energy. Oh boy, sorry about the flips, guys. Here's a Rattata, another flip, oh my goodness, Togepi. Meowth, another Rattata, a Palm, and the last card is a Combi with that symbol again. I would go through these ahead of time just so that I didn't have to flip them so much, but I don't want to spoil it. I enjoy, uh, and I'm sure you guys enjoy seeing my actual reactions to the cards, because I mean, if I was to go through these ugh, ahead of time and there was something amazing in there, you're not going to get the same reaction out of me as you do in this instance where I have no idea what kind of cards are in these packs. All right, so on to the next one, Apom, which is a reverse hollow and in really, really bad, bad condition, but still kind of neat to see. We have a Burmy, a Masquerain, Coughing, Nidoran, Surskit, and it looks like this would be a grass pack, uh, Chikoria, another Paris, grass type energy, a Turtwig, a Pango, a Cherubi, a Beedrill, uh, level 56, another Surskit, and the last card is a Combi. So no rares, no super cool cards yet until this pack. Um, but I'm hoping that I'm leaving the best one for last. 
now let me know guys what else you want to see on the channel i do have more gaming videos coming your way like i said i was interested in doing um like thrift hunt hunting vlogs where i go look for pokemon stuff uh, i do Pokemon card unboxings and all that kind of fun stuff, but I'm always curious as to what exactly you guys are looking for and what kind of content you want to see. All right, so with this one though, we have a Tangrowth Level X, which is absolutely gorgeous of a card, and it's in not too bad condition either. There's a few, uh, sorry, I keep holding things off camera. Uh, there's a few scratches on it and a little bit of white, like lifting around the edge there, but still a really nice card. Uh, next one we have a Turtwig, another Krokotot with that symbol on it, a very interesting looking Dratini, um, Delta species, a Torterra, which is a rare, I do believe, yes, so we got another rare in there, whoopsies, <gasps> Mephion, oh, I hope this is a real card, this kind of looks fake to me, yep, we have a fake card in our mist guys if you guys didn't know um one big thing is you can tell on the back here that the printing is off um you've got this weird line on this border here and the colors just don't match usually this border is a lot darker not this lighter kind that you see um and if we look at the front first of all i don't know if that's an actual proper picture they do have the right stage in there but if you look here it's like they photocopied and it got a little bit darker that and the text is completely wrong. Like, look at the difference in the text on those. So, unfortunately, that was going to be a really cool card, but nope, it's a fake. There might have been more fakes in here, too. Who knows? Um, I do actually have a nice big collection of fake cards, so it's kind of neat to have more to add to it. Um, but I'm always looking for something a little bit cooler. Um, so we got Pineco, Nesleaf, a Bulbasaur, a Carvine, Carnivine, pardon me, an upside down grass type energy, Tropius, an upside down Wormadam, a Gravoil, pardon me, and a little Piplup. So cute, so cute. So that one was a little bit cooler, at least a little bit more interesting with that uh, fake leafy on and two rares in it. So I'll at least be able to summarize something at the end of this video. Now, these ones here are what I'm hoping to have something good in it because as you can see, Pokemon March, which is an older card. I don't remember exactly what set this is from, but I know that this is an older card. You can feel it in the make of the card. Like that is nice and sturdy. And we get on to newer ones, Phoebe's Stadium. Whoops. Oh, I bet you this is all going to be trainer cards. That is going to be my luck. Uh, Volkner's Philosophy, Department Store Girl, BB Search, Sears' Initiative, Cheerleaders Cheer, oh look, a base set, two trainer cards, Switch, which is in poor condition, we have a Pokedex, an Eco Gym, same uh, set as that first one, Battle Tower, Super Scoop Up, with a little pip lip on it, uh, Stark Mountain, Upside Down Switch Trainer, a Wormadam, and the last card is a Luxury Ball. Womp womp. So even though we got some cool older cards in that, we really didn't come up with too much this time around other than two cards. And now that I'm looking at this Torterra, I think it's a fake too. <sighs> and it is. So really, the only card we got from this is the Tangrowth Level X, which is in... Decent condition, the edge is a little bit worn on it, but there are very few scratches on that hollow. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Stay tuned because we will have more of these Value Village Pokemon card opening videos. I do have a lot more planned, and I've got a lot of stock for it. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!